Here we are at the 12th fret with two Wildwood banjos <laughs> built by Mark Platten. Superb luthier. Unfortunately, Mark, uh, fortunately for Mark, but unfortunately for us, Mark is retired. As of this summer, he's no longer building. These are the last two Wildwood troubadours I'm going to have. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. They're uh, uh, an elegant banjo that he's built for the last uh, 35, 40 years. Uh, solid block rim construction, uh, tubophone tone ring, flame maple neck, lovely little elegant inlay pattern that was one of Mark's specialties. Very artistic, attractive instrument, and and lovely warm sounding banjos. Uh, we have this one left, which is the troubadour in the standard stained maple, and then a banjo that Mark built for me as a favor a number of times, which is effectively the same banjo but done in black walnut with a gun oil rub. So bare wood, nice dry feel, black walnut, one of my favorite wood species. Uh, plain, simple, elegant, understated banjo, uh, but still a troubadour, perhaps a tiny bit warmer than the maple version. Walnut is a little less dense uh, and give you a slightly warmer tone, but uh, <coughs> unlikely uh, the difference is audible. I think people pick it uh, based on the wood species they like the looks up best. The uh, unusual for this kind of construction, he's adapted the block rim construction to black walnut as well. So not only is the neck walnut, the rim is black walnut as well. So the last two Wildwood banjos, both troubadours, one is walnut, oil rub, the other is maple, uh, curly maple in a stained walnut stain.